everybody, this is Roxy, and I'm starting to work on a three ring binder cookbook for my niece. Um, I'm very inspired by Coffee Paper Scissors, her three ring binder cookbook. She made it for a, a friend or customer for their granddaughters. So I'm going to use uh, some of her ideas, uh, mainly just the fact that she got it done and made it. I, it gave me some inspiration. Um, so I'm going to use my achy breaky heart. Oh, I do have to get rid of some of my old paper, you know, just because it just sits around and I don't use it because I want to watch it get old and gray with me. Um, you know, actually, because I just love it so much. So this is Cosmo Cricket's. What is it? Hmm? What's the name of it? There's no name. Anyways, it's Cosmo Cricket. I love it. I have the stamps that go with this too. And some of the ephemera, look at that. So pretty. <clears throat> Has little recipe cards. Because it is their little kitchen. So cute. And I have some 12 by 12s but then I have a lot of the ephemera. This is the little stamps that has him and all these utensils and pots. But I also had create, create, collected some little yellow bicycle ephemera that I thought went well with it. I miss both these companies a lot. I don't think that went with this kit or with this design. Yeah, it's worth it. Am I missing it? Right here. <clears throat> Mixomatic. Oh, there it is. TV dinner. That was the name of the um, the paper line. TV dinner. Mixomatic was just that paper. So then I have some of the brads from Cosmo Cricut. So here's the Cosmo Cricut stuff. <clears throat> some flags. Canvas, cute. And I've used it for other stuff. Tags. Some more little yellow bicycle. Saver. Their stuff was cool too. But they're all kind of the same color vibe. I think this is, yeah, bicycle. So this will be so fun. I think I'm going to make a few books out of all these to, you know, sell and for my niece. And then some cabin canvas strips. It must be all. Yeah, I used a bunch of those. So, let's get started, shall we? That's going to be a lot. I'm probably not going to show, you know, I'll try to show as much as I can on what I'm making. I don't know if these are going to go anywhere. I love this. He's so cute. I tried to hint to my niece. I showed her this, and then I have another um, uh, bunch of paper that kind of had. Here, I'll just show you. I'm losing all this stuff. Had the same color scheme. And I was like, um, yeah, I sent her the pictures, and I said, oh, I got to throw my. I gotta get rid of some of my paper, I don't know what to do. Which one would you throw out or get rid of? And she's like, oh, you know me, it's just like me and my books. And I'm a rah, 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 rah. She's texting all this stuff about her books and how I'm just like, okay, she didn't catch on that I want her to answer. So then I had to kind of, you know, coerce her a little bit more. And finally I said, just, just pick one. I want, it's gonna make you something. I just need to know what you like. So she liked the, the little chef guy. 
the Cosmo Cricut. But I thought this went well with these same colors and I can use some of this stuff with it too. So I got a little bit different colors. But here's the, I think this is um, TSW, something from them. But it's cute. Okay, so enough of that, because it seems like it's probably in your face. Sorry. And I'm going to put this stuff back, because this is going to be happening later. And this is stuff from probably a project. I don't know why I glued this or taped this on, but I'll make something out of it. And then I cut labels out, but I like how that can be windows for something. Like this came in a... I think this is sa Saver. And then from Little Yellow Bicycle. And then here's some bits. We don't throw anything away in this house. Not in my art layer, at least. All right. So what I'm thinking, have I said that a few times, is ugh, I want to cover... I want to make, um, like coffee, um, Stephanie from Coffee Paper Scissors, she made little folder kind of things with pockets, and, um, this is the size of the tabs in my book, so I'm going to keep the same size, I think it was six something, Oops, sorry, yeah, six and a six. By eight, nope, by nine and three eighths. So I'm going to keep that size. <clears throat> and then I'll punch out tabs. But I was thinking I would fold these. And then I think they're the right size. And then decorate it with this paper. You know, maybe shapes or. Maybe oval, you know, just kind of different things, strips. So, I'm going to put this paper over there. On the big pile that will probably soon be coming down. And... Start scoring. I like to do it this way. So. Okay, so I just need to score at six. And then I'll um, punch this side, you know, probably glue down that, punch this side. And then she had a really cool big circle punch, and I might do that same thing. I really like that. It's easy to get stuff in and out. So we'll see how that looks. Yeah, perfect. All right, so I will continue. And um, I won't be back for a while because I got to get a circle punch. Um, but I think I will plan out my pages. Um, I also asked her, I asked her on her video if I could get a copy of her. She made um, a template for the recipes pages and she sent that to me <gasps> too small so I will I printed those off and I'll be working on those too so I will see you on the next video um, just watch for the three ring cookbook process and I'll talk to you later bye <laughs>